I wanted to use something that was quite technical, looked like an eyeliner, but looked like it was hovering in a phantasmagorical way. I've always thought of Gareth Pugh as the dark prince of fashion, but with his new collection, I think he's got happy. Now, what mood were you trying to set with that film? Gareth, we've been speaking for quite a while about what the mood of the collection is, but for me it's sort of evolved into something else, a girl finding power, really. Does this woman have a story? You know that kind of painting, that Lucas Cranach painting of Judith and Lucretia where one Judith kind of like ripped the head of Holofernes off with a knife and she's kind of stood there with his head and Lucretia's just about to stab herself in the heart because she's just been ripped. Those two opposite ideas of women in this kind of diptych, you know that was kind of a very loose kind of narrative to the film. She starts very small and then and quite weak and then ends up a Gareth Pugh woman. The cages were leather, very, very, very thin leather over kind of a, a boning. So it was kind of like a, an exoskeleton. Well, it's funny that he was working with grids because I think of grids as a way of gaining control. And uh, maybe it's, there's something in the air about reacting to chaos, reacting to too much stimulation. Would you say it's kind of about control of chaos? It's always about control of chaos. It's controlling the beast within. This collection, it felt like bouncy architecture. It did, absolutely. It had soft elements, it had iridescent elements, it had, um, it had light sort of cut-out elements. And I thought the helmets were great. I like the hats. I thought they looked like blue flames off British gas. The black and white, the striped looks were spectacular. It's always glamorous, it has a bit of a utilitarian feel. And it's always something that you actually look at and go, that's Gareth Pugh.